Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to customize your Outlook experience. We're gonna show you guys how to change settings such as your themes, layouts, and more. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, remote desktop licenses, Windows 10, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. When you open up Outlook without having many of these settings adjusted, your default view will look something like this. We're gonna start off by showing you guys the various theme options. So in the file tab, I'm gonna go down to options all the way here at the bottom. And on this general tab, which is already highlighted here, we have a background and a theme option for Outlook. Let's start with the theme. I personally like the dark gray, so I'm gonna select that. And for the office background, let's just select calligraphy and see what happens. I'll press okay. All right, and this is now what my Outlook looks like. So for me, I like the look of the dark gray and the darker tones overall, but without it being all the way black. Next up, let's talk a little bit about how you can adjust the Outlook layout. So clicking over to the View tab here, we've got several settings that we can adjust. Let's start with the layout. In the folder pane, we have a few options here. We have either off, so we can completely turn the folder pane off, uh, or we can select minimize. All right, so this is what the normal already looks like. And if I click minimized, this is what our minimized version looks like. So now we have these little icons, and we can always click the arrow to expand that. Additionally, we can turn it completely off, but I do think it's useful to have on. So let me go ahead and stick with the minimized setting. Additionally, I can select some of the to-do bar features, such as the calendar people and tasks, all of which I actually want on. So I'll just select them all. Another thing I I can adjust here is the message preview and how many lines of the preview I get. So right now we have three, we could switch that to two and I could do this folder or all mailboxes. And so now we can only see two lines. In this menu here, we can change the arrange by feature. So we can arrange from end. So we can select any of these settings. And back in the layout tab, again, we've got reading pane adjustments. So we can either turn that off or we can set it even to the bottom. I'm not the biggest fan of this layout personally, so I will select on the right. The next thing you may wanna customize is a custom email signature. Let's go back to file and we'll go to options. And this time we'll go to the mail tab. If we click next to create or modify signatures for messages, here we can add in our custom signature. Mine has formatting and hyperlinks so that this automatically attaches to my emails and my customers can go to my social medias. If you're not sure how to create a signature, we have a video covering that inside of Microsoft Word and you can watch it right here. All right, and the last thing we wanted to cover is how to personalize the quick access toolbar. That's gonna to be these little icons at the top. So if I right click anywhere, on the ribbon, I can click Customize Ribbon. From the setting, I'm gonna click down to Quick Access Toolbar. I wanna to add a few things to my Quick Access Toolbar. Let's go with New Appointment. So I'll select it and click Add. I'll go with Meeting, Manage Rules and Alerts, and I'll go with New Email. With these things added, I'll go ahead and click OK. As we can see, it has reflected that change towards the top here, so now I have Calendar. So now I have New Appointment, which I can click on. I can also click Notifications. Here I can set new rules and alerts, and then I have a Compose or Create a New Email right here. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about customizing Outlook for your own personal experience, Drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. Before we end the video, we have a question. What video would you like to see? All answers are welcome in the comments below. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.